What if you could automate client onboarding with new client documents checking themselves, extracting the right details, and drafting a welcome note, all in seconds without ever leaving Box? Today, I'm going to show you OpenAI's Agent Kit, specifically Agent Builder connected to the Box MCP server to do just that. I'm Andrew, Senior Developer Advocate here at Box. Let's get started. Imagine you're a wealth management company welcoming a new client. Here's the client's folder in Box, which includes the three documents you might collect during onboarding. A form of ID, a utility bill, and a broker statement. On top of that, the company's also pre-populated the folder with a general market outlook PDF for added context. Together, these give us everything we need to verify the client's identity, understand their financial position, and generate a personalized welcome message. What we're going to do next is build a simple workflow where agents will pull key details from each file, combine them with insights from the market outlook, and then use that information to draft the client's welcome note, all automatically without the files ever leaving box. Let's check it out. Here in Agent Builder, I built a pretty simple workflow using three agents. One to check files, one to process them, and one to create the final output in box. Each agent handles a clear step in the flow. So for example, this one, check files. This agent verifies that the folder has the right documents. And then for this agent, process files, we're extracting key details and drafting a welcome message. And then finally, for this agent, create onboarding notes. We're saving that message back into the client's folder. Now, what's really important to point out is that each of these agents is already connected to Box via MCP. So for this agent, if I click on Box over here under Tools, you can see that I've already authenticated with Box and it shows all the tools available for this agent. Just for good measure, to show you how I made the connection, let's go ahead and clear this one out. Next, we're going to manually re-add it by clicking plus, heading to MCP server, and then adding the server ourselves. We'll hit connect. And again, same screen, we're authenticated, and we have a list of tools available for this agent. Let's go ahead and add this one. I also added a simple set state step right over here. Even though it isn't strictly required per se, by default, agents can actually pass data directly to the message history, and each node can actually reference variables from the one immediately before it. I'm just showing set state for good measure in case you wanted to persist global data for more complex workflows that might need access to shared variables downstream. And then over here, we also have a simple if else branch just to make sure that the folder has the expected number of files before the workflow continues. In practice, you could probably just read from the JSON output from the previous node, but I want to use this as a straightforward example of how to add basic logic and routing between steps. For this demo, we're also just verifying the file count for simplicity. But in a production setting, you probably want to validate the files more intelligently. Like, for example, using Box AI to confirm that the uploaded content matches what you'd expect. All right, with everything set up, let's go ahead and run this in preview and see what happens. So we can just give plain English instructions, no code, and we'll just say run the client onboarding flow for this folder. Now, let's go ahead and submit this. All right, we have the results. On the left side, you can see the progression through the different nodes of the workflow take place. And then on the right side, you can see that the first agent lists the folder and confirms all the files within it. So we can see the ID, the broker statement, the utility bill, and also the Q4 market analysis document that we pre-populated. And then down below, for the process files agent, we can see some of the extracted data listed right over here. It looks like it cross-checked the name and made sure that it matched across the different documents. And then below that, it looks like it used multi-file Q&A over the statement and the market outlook to draft a welcome note for the client. And then finally, for our last agent, for this agent, we output those same details on the screen 
And we also create a new file inbox representing the welcome message for the client. Let's go ahead and go back into box and check out the new updates. In our folder, you can see the brief welcome note saved right over here alongside the client's documents. It's all securely stored and governed within box. Now from here, you can easily extend the workflow by doing things like formatting the message or maybe connecting it to another tool to automatically email it to the client. Then of course, at the very end, you can deploy it. And that's Agent Builder in the Box MCP server. What you just saw was a repeatable onboarding flow all in minutes. Everything stayed governed in Box with no content copied out. And this is just one example of how Agent Kit and Box together enable the Agentic Enterprise. You get secure content aware AI agents that automate real business workflows. To learn more and to get started with the Box MCP server, check out our MCP page right over here. You're going to find documentation, FAQs, and everything you need to get up and running with MCP. I'm Andrew, Senior Developer Advocate here at Box. See you next time.